Hello, this is Dennis McDonald with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. I want to show you today a customer's telephone. This is an AT&T Signature Princess telephone. It has um, the volume up and down on the uh, base and it's the Signature Series. So this was a very nice telephone. It also had a lit dial. This dial lights at night. And basically this telephone, the customer complained that, um, well, what we found with it was when um, you tried to dial a number, the numbers would never hit. They would never break dial tone. And we also found that when you would unplug the light power source to light the LEDs, when you unplug that, uh, we could we could uh, dial out, and the numbers would dial and break dial tone. So that led us over here to um, I'm going to try to show you this on the main board here. You have to troubleshoot out these boards. So what we did was, um, from where the plug is at, and uh, we eliminated some of these wires that do not go anywhere. This this plug had uh, one, two, three, four, five wires on it, um, four black and one red. And so what we did to it was we eliminated. So this is not for the squeamish. We eliminated the four or three wires that had nothing to do with anything, and we will uh, discontinue those wires when we're finished up. So basically, um, what we did was we had to track down from the plug on the board and track that down through the circuit board, which led us over to this area. And there was a transistor there, and it's a PH33. And um, so what we did to this transistor that was by this IC chip here, we pulled it out because um, with a volt ohm meter, I was getting a short ac across a couple of legs. So what we did here, and I'm going to try to set this down and show you. What we did was, I want to measure that with my volt ohm meter continuity check. Across the two legs of this PH33, it's shorted. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to come over here to my um, transistor checker and I want to hook it up real quick. and check this transistor. Okay, now what I'm going to do, okay, it's totally shorted if you can see that. The needle's shooting it straight across. It's a PNP and the needle shooting straight across, so that's a dead short. Now, I have another transistor that uh, we have for parts, and I'm going to hook that up real quick. And see how the needle does not move? It stays steady within the range of it being good. Well, that shows that the component, or the transistor, whatever you want to call it, turn off our transistor checker. That shows that our transistor that we had pulled for parts is a good transistor. So basically what we want to do now is we want to take this transistor and we want to install it in the board. And I'm going to try to do that while we're doing the video. Um, might be a little difficult, but I'm going to try to do it for you to show you. 
First, we want to make sure our soldering gun is uh, nice and clean. We kind of want to tend the legs a little of the transistor. Now you have to be careful if you don't know which way a transistor goes in. Um, you basically, if you're the one taking it out, you might want to make sure you knew which way it came out. Um, on the board, I don't think you can see it, but there's a little indication here um, that the transistor was uh, facing towards the video. So we want to put that back in the way it came out. And we want to go to the back of the circuit board. And if you can, bend over one leg a little bit, maybe another one to kind of hold it in place for you while you're soldering it. So let's get some solder on this thing. Now on these AT&T boards, you want to make sure that that's, uh, any component that you uh, solder on is soldered well because they have solder on both sides of the board. So they're, they're kind of a difficult board to work on because if you've got to use, uh, if you've got to take something out, you need to use some solder wick. And that's nothing but copper wire with some flux on it. And it sucks up the solder. So you want to suck up the solder on both sides and then pull your component out. So now that our transistor is back in, uh, let's do some uh, checking and see what we've got. And we want to plug this telephone in. And uh, let's get it on the line cord here. Okay. We uh, should have dial tone here. We have dial tone. And basically we want to make sure... Okay, there we go. Right there. I'm going to hang up. And I'm going to dial a one. There we are. A two, a three, a four, a five, a six, seven, eight, nine. Star, zero, and pound. I'm going to hang up. And so that basically um, takes care of our problem. The transistor was bad and it was shorted. So now that we have everything back together again, um, we're going to put this telephone, um, get it all back together, and um, finish it up and get it back to the customer. This is a AT&T signature trim line type phone, or I'm sorry, a princess telephone. And um, we'll get this all back together. Maybe we'll do a final checkout video of it. But it turned out to be a transistor on the main PC board. I'll show it to you. Turned out to be a transistor on the main PC board. And uh, once we checked it and, and found it was shorted and changed it, that took care of our problem. Our numbers started hitting again and um, everything was back to normal. So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair. Goodbye.